This weekly metaphysical update is brought to you by Uma, the owner of the Lotus and the Light Metaphysical Center on Mosby Street in Manassas, Virginia. The Lotus and the Light offers services and classes in spiritual, metaphysical, and psychic development. To find out more about Uma's offerings and classes and services, please visit www.thelotusandthelight.com. Now, here's Uma. Hi guys, happy Monday morning, it's Uma here. As we get ready to start another day and another week, I'm so happy to have you tune in and join me this morning. So grab your cup of coffee or water and let's see what the cards have in store for us this week. Afterwards, we'll do a little mini meditation to clear your mind, focus your thoughts, and then I'm gonna end with the weekly special I'm offering at Lotus this week. So let's get to it. Hi guys, welcome to your weekly energy update with me and the Angel Tarot Cards. Thanks for joining me again this week. Let's see what we have going on for the week of October 12th. So if you remember me from my last video, um, I just like to shuffle the cards, have them pop out. So that this one just popped out, so I'm going to go ahead and put this here. Um, I'm pulling three cards to let us know what is... The middle of the, the beginning of the week, the middle of the week, and the weekend. And wow, the cards are popping. So clearly Spirit is here and ready to give us a reading. So let's give thanks to Great Spirit. I like to say Great Spirit to honor everybody's religious and spiritual beliefs. Let's give thanks for this beautiful message that we're going to receive so that we can prepare our week and know what's coming up. So let's start with the beginning of the week, Monday, Tuesday, starting the week of October 12th. We have... The page of fire now if you guys remember from last week we had all fire cards i'm wondering if the second week of october is setting up for the same thing the page of fire says news of an exciting new endeavor use your originality and ingenuity pages in this deck bring messages so whereas last week we had a knight of fire and he brought us an offer this week monday and tuesday we have messages and because it's a fire card, this has to do about our career and our finances. So whatever messages you get on today, Monday, or Tuesday, you wanna pay attention to, because it's either a message that's going to solidify you in your current position, or it may have you starting to think about new employment elsewhere. Um, lots of good news about money though. So whatever you're thinking, whichever direction you're thinking about going in, I do know that it's going to add to your wealth and your abundance. So pay attention to all the clues the universe is sending you on Monday and Tuesday. All right, that's page of fire. Now let's see what the middle of the week brings us on Wednesday, Thursday. We have Ace of Air, another new beginning. Wow, so the second week of October is really shaping up to be something interesting. Ace of Air says, brilliant new ideas and inspirations, seeing the truth of a situation and the challenging beginning. Some of you are beginning something new on Wednesday or Thursday, and it may not go exactly as planned, but Spirit is saying, hang in there. This is a new thing, it's a wonderful thing, but it's gonna have a little bit of challenge in the beginning. So if you can remember that for Wednesday and Thursday, you're gonna be fine. For the rest of you, you're just gonna be getting new insights and inspirations. Some of you might start thinking about writing a book. Some of you might just start thinking about a new business venture that's going to be profitable for you. Whatever ideas and inspiration you're getting on Wednesday, Thursday, the message is clear. Listen to it, follow through on it, and trust that what you're receiving is divine intervention from your spirit team. Okay, let's see how the weekend goes. For Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we have another ace. Wow, see, I can't even make this up. You guys saw all these cards pop out, you know? I can't make it up. It's definitely a week of new beginnings the second week of October. Ace of Fire says an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, change your life now. Wow, aren't we excited about October, right? Maybe some of us have just been not doing so well in our business front. Um, maybe some of us are just not doing well in terms of our money and financial situations, but October is looking very promising so far. So for the weekend, um, new opportunities are coming up that Spirit is prompting you to take advantage of, okay? It, and for some of you, I'm hearing that this has to do with your social life as well. You might get invited to some social events or some networking events, and you might, in the old, probably not go. But Spirit is kind of gently moving you forward and saying, yeah, there's something here for you. You just got to take a chance 
and there's something here that can really work out for you and change your life all right that's the message of ace of fire so we have an angel number for the week if this is your first time tuning in an angel number is just an extra special message for you from your angels and your spirit guides and the angel number this week is believe it or not ready here we go 111 all right so just google angel number 111 and you get an extra special message for this week of october 12th thank you so much for tuning in tuning in for your energy update let's shift a little bit now go a little bit slower and get into our monday morning meditation it's only five minutes of your time and we're going to take this time to really set our intent and our focus for the week release things that are no longer serving us and move into the energy of manifestation so come join me now for that. Thank you. Meditation is a great way to calm your nerves, release stress, and get you back into a more centered and grounded place. So join me for a very short five minute meditation that will allow you to set the tone for this week. First, let's pay attention to how we are sitting. Make sure that you are comfortable in your chair or wherever you're sitting or lying down. And now just close your eyes and listen to my voice. I'd like you to start by focusing on your breath. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale. As you inhale and exhale, Allow all the stress in your body to just leave on that exhale. Nice deep breath in and exhale. We're now going to time our breathing to bring us the most peace we can in a short time. I'd like you to just hold your breath to the count of four. One, two, three. Four. Now exhale. One, two, three, four. Now inhale. One, two, three, four. And exhale. One, two, three, four. Keep going. As you breathe and focus on your breathing, thoughts are going to come in and come out, and just like the ocean waves, allow them to easily drift in and drift out. Pay no mind to what your thoughts are, just focus on your breathing. Inhale for four, exhale for four. the stress in your body. Now bring your mind and your attention to your heart. Think of all the things that you are happy and grateful for. As you bring your awareness to all the things that you are happy and grateful for, you should immediately feel lighter, more peaceful, and more joyful. Allow that energy in. Now, 
from this place of peace and contentment, bring your attention to all that you'd like to accomplish this week. What is your schedule like? What are you hoping to achieve this week? In what ways are you going to practice self-care? Think of one thing you can do every day just for you. What time would you like to go to bed every night? And do you have time in the morning to do a little spiritual practice before you start your day? Make all these intentions now, set the course for this week so that you can have the best week possible. Now bringing your attention back to your breath, inhale for four, exhale for four, and return your breathing to normal. When you are ready, open your eyes. You are now set and ready to have a fabulous week. May it manifest for your best and highest good. Namaste. All right, guys, welcome back. Here we are with our weekly special for this week of Monday, October 12th to Sunday, October 18th. This week, you don't actually have to actually come in and see me at the Lotus and Light Metaphysical Center. You can email me because that's what I have on tap. We're going to do a soul plan reading. And if you've never had one, it is highly helpful and I highly recommend it for yourself. So what is a soul plan reading? Well, it's combining aspects of astrology and numerology to answer those age old questions like, why am I here? What am I here to do? What's my purpose in life? I like to go back to your original soul plan because I believe, as do most people, that you are born with an intent, with your destiny, and you just have to figure out how to get there. So in a soul plan reading, I do ask for personal details about yourself, such as your name on your birth certificate, where you were born, what time you were born, and the location of your birth. For some of you, you may not know the exact time of your birth, that's okay. I'll only miss maybe one or two aspects in your reading because you don't know your exact time, but I can still do the rest of your chart with the other information. So what you do is you send it to me and it takes me about an hour, hour and a half to get all the information for you to answer those questions. Why am I here? What am I here to do? And what's my life purpose? And then after I assemble it into an email, which is about 10 to 12 pages long, I then send it to you and I give you a complimentary call, a phone call to go over what I found and to give you my intuitive and psychic feedback. So my special this week is $25 off a soul plan reading. You can find out more about this by emailing me info at the lotus and the light dot com. I'm so excited to do it for you. I'm a little bit like a detective and that's my Gemini moon coming out more on that later, but I am like a little detective and I love to find out what, you know, what people are about and what makes them tick. So it's fun for me to do. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this morning segment. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great week. And as always, namaste. Thanks and goodbye. <laughs>